talk about women inclusion in Nigeria. Did you know that since 1999, Nigeria has not had up to 200 female lawmakers in the National Assembly? During this same period, more than 2,600 men have graced the chambers. In our next story, former British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Lane, talks about gender inequality in Nigerian politics, despite the giant strides women have made in the private sector. No women, no Nigeria. You've got to exploit that 50%. They're in other walks of life. They're doing well, actually, in business, in the law, in medicine, in science. We see Nigerian women doing very well. So why is it they're not doing well in politi politics? Well, I'm afraid it can only be down to the fact that men do not want to share power. I've seen so many examples of amazing role models, women in Nigeria, in Nigeria, but also outside Nigeria. You know, you've got senior women, Deputy Secretary General, um, WTO and so on, but many, many here who are doing amazing things. And the, the Women's Minister, Dame Pauline Tallon, has just been a, a massive inspiration to me. So that's one of my big takeaways. We saw this in a very practical way play out when the five bills, this time last year, were going through the two houses and sadly didn't make it through. And those bills included, personally what I think is very important, quotas for women in different aspects of life, including special seats in, in Parliament. There's a lot of experience around the world that when you're as this far behind as Nigeria is, you need to have quotas to enable women to get their seat at the table and then be able to, to speak up for themselves and to act as role models for other young women. If women do not see women in political leadership roles, they themselves won't, won't aspire. So it's, it's a vicious circle. For the incoming administration, that's going to be one of my parting messages. You have to do better on this. It's holding Nigeria back. It's causing economic loss for Nigeria by not including women in all walks of life, including in politics. But obviously, jollof rice, we all know about jollof rice, but I'm actually a big fan of catfish soup and hot pepper soup. That's one of my, my favorite dishes. Um, and we're, I'm going to be trying Nigerian food back in the UK. On the language side, um, I wouldn't call myself a great linguist, and it's one of those challenges. If you're going to try and learn, one, which, learn a language in Nigeria, which one do you choose? By choosing one, you're by definition excluding another. So I use that as a bit of an excuse for saying I haven't managed to learn much Nigerian language, but I, I appreciate hearing it, and I love the sound of Nigerian language. And a number of my staff, I ask them to speak to me, you know, in the in Hausa, in Igbo. Indeed, more women in governance would ensure social and economic development for Nigeria.